Ever since I was young, I was really interested in biology. And so at high, at high school, I was looking at schools that had really excellent bioengineering programs. And Rice is a, a really excellent bioengineering school. So that's why I chose Rice. To make a gel to mimic human body. After I been to Philly in 2010, after one semester here at Rice, I decided to go serve my country. Um, and so I applied for a unit that is dispatched to the U.S. forces in South Korea, U.S. Army specifically in South Korea. And their primary mission is to ease the transition of U.S. soldiers who are operating in uh, South Korea and the, and the whole region. I was chosen to be the attached interpreter to a commanding general of uh, 2nd Infantry Division, uh, General Cardone. And uh, I did that for two years and then I came back in 2013, January. Um, and then here I am, about to graduate. In the military, I saw that, especially because I was at the very high level, I recognized that it was really important to see things from a very high level, high perspective. And so when I came back to Rice, I not only wanted to really delve really deep into my major, but also understand uh, the framework of our society, which is politics, my policies and then the economics behind my major and my industry that I want to go into. And so at Rice, I did bioengineering research and uh, basic science research. But I also was very much involved in the Baker Institute. No! One of the opportunities that I came across was Qatar Conference. So the Qatar Conference is where a group of Rice students and a group of students from the Middle East, mainly from Qatar, get together and talk about various issues such as bioterrorism and sustainability and etc. So that was really an enlightening experience to be able to, be able to you know, have an open engagement with a student from a different part of the world. People question me, why do you work so hard? You know, why, why, you know, why do you work so hard? I think the biggest drive for me is, is uh, just trying to find myself. And I think undergrad has to be spent trying to find who you are really inside.